Good evening, everyone. This is WWAY Sports. I'm Dustin Dorsey. The UNCW men's soccer team is off to one heck of a start. The team is 2-0 in regular season play, thanks in big part to two stars on their team who are recognized by the CAA Conference this week. The team swept their first two games, and they swept the CAA Weekly Honors as well. Julio Moncada, the redshirt senior forward, scored both of the goals in the win against Jacksonville, his third two-goal game of his career, to, and he was named the CAA Player of the Week for Week 1. His counterpart, Halmar Edkal, the freshman defender from Stockholm, Sweden, brought home the Rookie of the Week honors from the conference after scoring his first career goal against North Florida and helping UNCW win the Mike Gibbs tournament title down in Florida. Former East Bladen Eagle Desmond Bryant has been looking for a new home for the past few weeks now after being released by the Cleveland Browns. But the search may be over soon if a workout with an NFC West team goes well. According to reports out of Seattle, Washington, Bryant is set to work out for the Seattle Seahawks at some point next week. This is the first reported interest in the defense alignment since he was released, in which he cleared up about $3 million in cap space for the Browns. Bryant has not played since 2015 after tearing a pectoral muscle before the season began last year and in his last season of play, he appeared in 14 games recording 33 tackles and 6 sacks. The golf action was in full swing this weekend in Wilmington as 126 players competed for the title of Men's City Amateur Golf Tournament Champion. The course was full all weekend long as men of all ages battled out for the money prize and a crystal trophy in this two-day event at the Wilmington Municipal Golf Course. The annual tournament has been a very popular one in the city of Wilmington for more than 50 years. It gives golfers in our area the opportunity to hit the links right here in the Port City. The head PGA professional at Muni, David Donovan, says he enjoys seeing all the competition on the course. Just the, the pride that the players in Wilmington have in just playing in this event and they're just happy to be here so that's kind of the best thing about it they like to compete they're competitive competitive golfers and um, it just kind of feeds on itself and builds itself Nick Adams from Goldsboro came out on top to win the event leading it Saturday and Sunday with a 68 and a 72 respectively golf is big in the Adams family as his dad Stan won the city the senior city amateur in May of this year. And if you weren't watching golf this weekend, maybe you're tuning in to see the team from Greenville finish up their run in the Little League World Series. Unfortunately, their historic run fell short of the World Series title. Today, Greenville North State returned to Eastern North Carolina, where they were greeted with cheers and excitement. After losing to the Southwest team from Texas in the U.S. Finals, North Carolina lost to Mexico in the third place game leaving them in fourth place overall. Still something to be absolutely proud of considering the run they've made. A celebration will be held for the team Wednesday. Congratulations to everyone on the great run. And last very important note of the night as Hurricane Harvey, now Tropical Storm Harvey, continues to affect Houston and the surrounding areas. The sports world is doing their help as they often do. Donations from athletes, teams and organizations have been in the millions and you could do your part as well. Make sure to visit the Red Cross if you get a chance tonight. Help those in need. 